Political commentator uh, Kevin Osido is the executive director of uh, the County Governance Watch. Joseph Kiyoko is a public policy expert or analyst, if you like. And uh, finally, we have Richard Tuta, who's a security analyst. So I believe I have a very able panel um, to discuss this latest statement. And remember, we've also seen that Ezra Chiloba, the CEO for IEBC, has written to NASA asking for more time to make available the Forms 34As and Form 34Bs. I would want to start with you, Prof. Where does this leave us now with these two statements that we've had in the last, say, 30 minutes or an hour? Um, what I said earlier, it means there is some sort of dialogue. Mm -hmm. Each one is preparing to dialogue mm -hmm. in response in public with the request or to the requests of the other. Mm -hmm. It also means that effort is being made to solve the impasse. Now, in my view, this effort should mm -hmm. be commended considering, and if you consider what Fazul has done, he muddies the waters mm -hmm. for and goodwill mm -hmm. that is available to in an attempt to resolve the conflict. If you look very carefully, um, one of the challenges we have in our public landscape is that there is a very large number of self-seekers mm -hmm. who look for opportunities <laughs> to serve their interests <laughs> using public, uh, you know, uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm not ashamed to say that um, uh, a person like Fazul, mm -hmm. there seems to be doubt created about, first of all, his background and fitness for the job. Yes. Um, when that is the case, mm -hmm. I thought he'd be doing something more positive to redeem his image, not further drag it into the mud, which means that this, this fellow has completely no respect for integrity, for decency, mm -hmm. for justice, for anything, which means he has traits that the country can very well do without. For you, Kevin? Uh, for me... With these two statements, uh, IEBC saying that uh, they will make these forms available later on and NASA now postponing its, its big address to tomorrow. Definitely. And um, I like the fact that... Um, NASA has postponed this. The only disadvantage is that it, it continues um, this anticipation among Kenyans. And you note that even today there are people who did not go to work because mm -hmm. uh, how uh, the right honorable prime minister is handled mm -hmm. and of course how he handles these issues are really going to be major determinants of uh, how Kenya is going to move forward. And so that takes me to what I have been drumming up support for, which is dialogue. Mm -hmm. That mean, so far as we are seeing what is doing I mean, what is happening in the outward, I know that there probably are efforts to ensure that uh, there are people who are working on the background to have the president and uh, the right honorable prime minister mm -hmm. to meet. And I think for me, that would be the best thing if we can be able to see. And as we said, and we'll continue to say, there are photos together, shaking hands and of course, just uh, rubbing shoulders yeah. in, in a positive manner, trending and uh, Kenyans going out there to have their comments are going to be very uh, impactful in my view. Mm -hmm. But note again that IEBC is going to be a key player in this process. Akisa, I was at BOMAS when the tallying process was going on, and mm -hmm. there were lots of tables that were put forward for presidential agents and, of course, uh, a place for the forms to come in. And I tried the tallying process myself because it was an open process for the public. Yeah. And it is clear that there were gaps, that uh, even for the, the forms 34Bs that were coming in, there were no accompanying 34As. And we know that the, election, the Elections Act uh, pushes or rather mandates IEBC uh, returning officers at, at the county level guided by the presiding officers that once you deal with the form 34A mm -hmm. because there are normally two copies which is which are signed by everyone yeah. there's a copy that is supposed to be placed at the polling station so that anyone can be able to go and um, look at the results how they were and then you move on one to the returning officer who then uses that form 34A to fill the form 34B mm -hmm which then forms the, the constituency form. Yeah. But in many of these forms that were coming up, we saw a lot of gaps. In fact, in some of the forms, the figures were even altered. In some of them, one person wrote the names of all the agents and signed for them. So I can imagine the amount of work that IEBC and the response that they have given to NASA mm. has to do because you must be able to be authentic. Uh, your, your, your response has to be very um, I, 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 let me let me talk about justice because uh, I, I like the, the, the 
the aspect that when we are seeking for truth in this process, and that is what NASA is pushing for, mm -hmm. IEBC must be able to do its work very well. So I probably hope that uh, the response to NASA and the letter for asking for more time yeah. is for IEBC to be able to just do their homework pro uh, properly. Mischief. I wouldn't say yes or no because uh, an, a pronouncement has already been made. Mm -hmm. But you note that now we are dealing with filling these gaps, which mm -hmm. in my view do not speak very progressively insofar as okay. even how this process is going to be, called, to be dealt with. thoughts? <laughs> I smell mischief. Because the basis of the election pronouncement was Form 34B. Mm -hmm. And it was finished. And it was filled. And uh, Ch uh, Ch Chebukati came out and even told us they were waiting for 17 forms. Then the number was reduced to eight. Then the number was reduced to two. Until the announcement was made some minutes to midnight. Mm -hmm. Because we were waiting for 34B. Now, 34B cannot stand alone. It must be based on 34A. So when you, he was telling that he he's waited for 34B to come, it was not just the form 34B. Mm -hmm. It was 34B accompanied by 34A. 34A. That's the logical progression of this argument. Now, if today... Chiloba says there are certain forms which have not come in. <laughs> what was the basis of his announcement? That, that is a fundamental question. And, and, and I tell you, today I have more reason to believe that the NASA vote was mismanaged. Mm -hmm. The NASA vote was rigged. Because we had an electronic... Trans Actually, now we should not even focus on the electronic transmission. Yeah. We should focus on this form 34A and, and 34B. 34B. So for you, you smell mischief. Me, I smell mischief. Scenario. And this statement that is stated today yeah. ha has not helped the commission. No matter the image they tried to mm. pretend, they should have forwarded these documents to them. Immediately. Immediately. Now that you are telling us you are still waiting, it goes on to confirm that story that we've been seeing on social media, that the IBC telling center is still telling. Mm -hmm. It means there are certain forms which are still coming. Yet you declared an election. Richard, uh, are your thoughts I, I, different? I am so not a researcher, but one thing I know about research is that there is no way you can develop a, a, a secondary data mm -hmm. without not having a primary data. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a situation whereby Form 34A uh, ought to have been the primary the primary data. And here is a situation now that I, IEBC is telling us that they have a secondary data, which is from 34B, which again they use to develop another data, mm. 34C. I don't know. I don't know what miracle they performed. Uh, secondly, on the issue that uh, uh, <laughs> Prof has raised about uh, our one Mr. Fazul, my only worry is maybe somebody somewhere in the organization right from the days of Niccolo Machiavelli, any system has always uh, fattened an individual waiting to be sacrificed mm -hmm. at an, an opportune moment. I'm not, I'm not sure whether Fazul somewhere is being fattened to be sacrificed mm -hmm. at an opportune moment. Uh, on the issue of uh, the, the, the NASA appraiser today being postponed up to, to tomorrow. It is an indicator that there must be so many other things that are happening behind the scene. And uh, Akisa, you must know that in politics, a minute means a lot. Yeah. An hour means a lot. A day means a lot. So maybe tomorrow we might see, tomorrow Kenyans might see a white smoke from their conclave. So let us expect to see a white smoke tomorrow. But, maybe but I, need whole, to add, yes. I need to add something. <laughs> In the 2007 election, the post-election violence was not triggered by the announcement as such. Or it was triggered maybe in a small part by the announcement. Mm -hmm. But it is when Kivitu was asked, the late Samuel Kivitu was asked, can you stand by these results? And he stammered. He said even he himself had no control of certain returning officers. That statement by the late Samuel Kivitu is what caused tensions to move beyond reasonable mm -hmm. measures. Where we are today as a country, the statement of doubt that Ezra has said to be sure is what is going to escalate tensions beyond control. It is a bad statement. On the matter of NASA's waiting, I think NASA has proved a point mm -hmm. that there is information they are waiting for. The new IABC was, uh, has gaps. And slowly it has been collecting his information yeah. to a point where it can present a logical argument. But, but looking at how the IABC officials came in and how the previous uh, set of officials were handed out of office and how they have been uh, conducting themselves throughout the eight months they have been office, in office before the election, this particular statement, where we are now, um, 
that Ezra Chiloba says, I can't yet make these things available to you. Yet this is the basis NASA is, uh, is, is this is the basis uh, of their dispute of this particular my, election. Tricky. How does this make the IABC look? Does it, the, the only the, 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 the image as the, a The only tricky part, remember this is the same IABC that uh, 24 hours after the election, they alleged that they have almost received 29,000. Mm -hmm. At some point they talked of 30,000 from 34A. Uh, the next day, again, they reduced the number of the forms that they had received. Up to today, they are what is flying on their website, have, uh, purporting to be a, a Form 34, and it's an exercise book. So these are issues that IBC needs to. And I agree with what uh, Kyoko is saying, that these are some of the reasons as to why this country went the direction that it took in 2007. Mm -hmm. If IBC, remember, if anyone needs to move to court today. Mm -hmm. He cannot move to court until he gets all these documents mm -hmm. so that it forms basis of his decision. Mm -hmm. We have only tomorrow and on Thursday and probably part of Friday. If up to today, IBC is not able to, to produce the 40,000 plus from 34A, then what will be the basis of someone moving to court? What does this do to the image of IBC and the commissioners? Okay. Actually, um, if you recall, um, on, um, on Friday last week, IBC told NASA, we are looking at your grievances. You go, we will uh, respond. Meanwhile, uh, IBC was preparing to make an announcement. In fact, we were on set when a, pan a fellow panelist uh, told me that um, IBC, I mean, uh, NASA have been fooled mm -hmm. because we have information that they just wanted them to leave the room so that they can prepare to make an announcement. Mm -hmm. What this does is to deepen the, the disgrace in which IBC uh, has placed itself. In fact, if you look very carefully, at the moment, where I, the environment where I live, the most disliked person in public right now is Ezra Jiroba. Mm. You mention his name, even among children, when I say, Mwizi, you know, Mwizi, you know, it, it's very annoying <laughs> to hear children referring to a public official. Now, they might please this. When is IBC going to take a, 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 a permanent position with regard to the election? Or are they playing games so that Time may lapse. In fact, my view is that this announcement that we are still looking for data. I mean, I am a living a kisser mm -hmm. doing research. You don't write the report and submit to the to the to the client, mm -hmm. and then then when the client is being interrogated on the report, uh, you begin saying, um, "My client, mm -hmm. let me look for the field notebooks mm -hmm. where I recorded all my results." Yeah. So basically, uh, the logical conclusion from a research and a field project perspective, is, this is beginning to look, from the point of view of IBC, like a fraud. Okay, Kevin. Like uh, uh, number doctoring. For me, Akisa, we, we have to take note of something, and this is the impact of uh, what we expect out of this process at uh, different levels. Mm -hmm. And maybe, let me address the first level of the common Kenyans, like myself, yourself, and many of us here, and those who are watching this, is that, uh, we expected that IEBC was going to deliver free, fair, credible elections. Mm -hmm. That, to a greater extent, in my view, was done. Until when people were able to go and vote, you know, the systems were working except for areas where there were delays. Until people went on and were there waiting for results and things just stopped. It is so surprising that uh, I was an, 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 an observer who was uh, accredited by IEBC mm -hmm. into this process. And in one of the polling stations where we were still waiting for returning officers to bring in their ballot papers, we saw results already on screen. <laughs> and the officials were like, oh, ladies and gentlemen, our results have already appeared. Mm -hmm. What is going on? And many people just said, oh yeah, so why do we need to count them? Why do we need to tally them? So in my view, just to respond to how this commission was put in place, it's not easy to conduct uh, a process like what IEBC did mm -hmm. 
in the in the time in the time that they had. But again, note that there were so many court issues, especially from NASA that delayed some of the timelines because yeah. IBC also had a timeline within which was uh, presented to the public. It mm -hmm. was gazetted, and they were working within that. But many of the Kenyans that we spoke to, even as observers, said, "Kevin, sisi tutapiga kura zetu, lakini tuna hakika, izi kura zitakapofika bomas." we will begin seeing different issues. And citizens are right, yeah. because we are now seeing those issues. And for IEBC to, re to redeem its image mm -hmm. as an independent constitutional commission, really, how they deal with this issue is really is one that is going to determine how Kenyans will, of course, give them uh, credence, how their profile will be able to be respected. Mm -hmm. And as a prof is saying here, we don't want to see public officials being yeah. referred to in that kind of light, because these are people we, we expect that are, are going to be respected. And what can you be able to do to Kenyans, but mm -hmm. just to do your work in an effective manner and in a manner that you can be able to stand and defend but on this, whatsoever this, side. This particular situation that IBC finds itself in has... Um, potential to really taint its image in a very bad way. Joseph, for you, if you were to advise the IBC, how do they work around this? <laughs> but you know, this is not a PR exercise anymore. <laughs> uh, they are good in PR. Mm -hmm. And what they conducted us through was good PR exercise. Mm -hmm. But finally, the chicken have come home to roast. What, what is happening today is that they forgot to steal certain loopholes. And that is where we are, we, 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 we finally landing. Mm -hmm. People voted. People exercise their democratic right. Systems were put in place to ensure that we have a fair election. Maybe one of the fairest elections in this country mm -hmm. since the era of multipartisan. However, certain individuals within the commission, either the commissioners themselves, uh, collectively or as individuals, or the staff in the commission, somebody played monkey business. People need to own up. They need to get to a point where they explain themselves so that first, because they are professionals. And, and nobody applied to come to IEBC so that their names are mad, uh, mm -hmm. was it maligned. Papa Matope, maligned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What they need, to come, they need to, to come out and do is to show credible outcomes, to come out and give us a credible election. As we stand today, based on the pronouncements that have been made today, now evening, the ball and confidence levels have shifted all of a sudden to where Raila is. We now start to believe Raila has been having a point. But what if the IEBC releases all the 34, 34 A's and B's and uh, they yeah. are in tandem yeah. with the results we've but, got? But what was the basis of announcement? <laughs> <laughs> what was the basis? 34 B is an accumulation of 34 A. So what were you announcing? It means you had a predetermined figure in 34B. Now, these 34As are coming to justify that figure. Akisa, you one thing that have uh, announced 34B without 34A being present. That is also surprising is uh, these figures that have been on the screen for a very long time and are actually still on the screen, 54.48% and 44.4%, uh, I think, 3%. Uh, and they are so stagnant at that level. But note that, again, what IEBC does to this process is going to affect the entire electoral system. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by saying this is not that there are people who are waiting to be sworn into office in the next few days. Yeah. The same same people were elected through the same same manner and the same same system used them to be either declared winners or losers. What does that mean to IEBC and how what is the impact? You know? Because if we are going to be looking at the presidential results and that is the bone of contention as mm -hmm. it is right now, IBC needs to come out very clearly and begin an entire audit, because one of the things that uh, I think uh, IEBC indicated that NASA was asking was the logs of the, the, of the server. Mm -hmm. And if I, I know that that is something that might probably take a much more longer time, but if that is the salvation that we should be waiting for to be able to deal with this issue, why not grant it? Because I think that the 2017 elections is one that, in my view, is going to determine a lot of both leadership and governance processes moving forward for this country. Because there are people who are actually sending messages to IBC and are telling them, deregister us from your, from your, from your uh, voter registers because we don't want to participate in this process. Mm -hmm. But again, note that in this election, elections, we had 5 million more people who registered to vote. How do you think they are feeling about this whole process, whether NASA or Jubilee or uh, just people who abstained and mm -hmm. did not go to vote? So this, in my view, how this is going to be handled is one that is going to really project Kenya as a country that mm -hmm. is going to be able to follow just the law to the letter and to the spirit, but especially insofar as our democratic processes and systems are concerned. Richard, the country is in suspense right now. 
Yeah, I, I, I the think supporters of um, NASA have been awaiting this announcement, and of course it has been pushed to tomorrow. But with IBC now coming in and uh, saying this will take a bit longer, of course, does, uh, doubts are being casted. I, I, I know NASA, are we in for security are, concerns? Uh, wherever. In fact, if today you ask me, I will say that uh, among us, the threats that uh, are facing this country currently, as far as security is concerned, most of the threats are emanating from what IBC is doing and what is also failing to do. Uh, for NASA and uh, Raila as a team, including my brother here, they are now all the way laughing because already they have been given an ammunition for tomorrow. The, these are some of the things that they will be presenting to the public, uh, public opinion court tomorrow that look, IEBC system is still working, the system that they had in place. It was working as, as of yesterday. IEBC is not uh, ready to submit to us from, 34, mm -hmm. uh, from 34A. Is it that they are cooking them? Remember what Kivuitu said in 2007, mm -hmm. that maybe the delay is as a result of somebody cooking some of these things. So these are some of the issues that I don't know why IEBC will continue making some of those. I don't know, to, I don't know how to to call them, whether to call them stupid errors or uh, tactical mystics. Because by now, remember, this is the same IBC that sometimes back said it clearly that they have uploaded all the 34A forms into their website. Now, what had they uploaded? Because it is like they, were not, they are not even sure. Uh, and maybe sometimes I ask myself, is it Chiloba? who is in control of IBC, or he is just relying on some information that he is being given, because he is on record okay. as having said that they have uploaded all the, all the required 30, 34A forms from all the polling stations in this right. country. Richard, to put context to this, let's now speak to our senior political reporter, uh, Duncan Hamber, who now joins us from our city center studios. This is a story he has been following um, uh, for a